distinguished ranking member, Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What we're going to hear from Democrats this morning is astonishing. It will be truly astonishing. For months, they declared there wasn't even a crisis on the border. Senator Warren said a fake crisis at the border is fear mongering of the worst kind and we're not falling for it. But weeks later, Democrats sure have changed their tune. Chairman just recently said Congress cannot ignore the humanitarian crisis at the border. For years now, Republicans have been warning about the crisis and working hard to find solutions. And all the while, Democrats have denied there was even a problem. Not, this is not about politics. It's always been about preserving the integrity of our border and preventing the humanitarian crisis that we are all now witnessing. Democrats are in charge here. They set the agenda. The chairman could have had this hearing on a border crisis in January. He could have had one in February or March or April. Instead, prioritize politi politi uh, political hearings like the hearing, well, like the hearing we first had, Michael Cohen, months and months ago. Think about this. The president made his emergency supplemental request only two days after that hearing. We knew even then that it was urgent. Instead of giving a platform to a convicted felon, we could have come here to address the border crisis. Only now the situation has reached the point that Democrats cannot ignore it. They finally decided to acknowledge that there is, in fact, a real crisis on the border. After months of the problem being pointed out and urgent calls for more funding, it wasn't until just before the July 4th recess that the House Democrats finally agreed, after waiting eight weeks, finally agreed for the past the $4.6 billion supplemental emergency funding bill to provide some of the resources needed at the border. And despite the size and scope of the crisis, even this funding bill was not supported by many of the Democrats, including some testifying today. Once again, they would rather play politics with the border than work on solutions. They've now gone from denying that there is a crisis to accusing those working to stop it, our border agents, of actually creating a culture of cruelty, as some have said. Just yesterday, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee gratuitously and erroneously accused our Border Patrol agents of committing negligent homicide. I was in the hearing when he said it. The reality is that our border agents are working tirelessly on the crisis, which they did not create, and are lacking funding and resources from the very Democrats who are attacking them. You can't vote against funding for a crisis. And then, fiscal year 2019, more than 688,000 illegal aliens, including nearly 133,000 in May of 2019 alone, were apprehended between ports of entry along the southwest border. An increase of 80,000 since October of 2018. And while historically most immigrants were single adult males, 72% of all border enforcement actions in the last month were directed to unaccompanied alien children and family units. Fabricating stories of cruelty and besmirching the hardworking civil servants who are protecting the border and providing humanitarian assistance does nothing to help solve the problem. And putting a Band-Aid over the border crisis like we did two weeks ago does not fit the root, fix the root causes. Democrats are serious about solving the border crisis. And let's address the Flory Settlement Agreement. Let's address asylum loopholes and the other statutory and judicial constraints that incentivize aliens to make a dangerous journey to the United States. Most of all, they must stop destructing the border security wall. This is one of the greatest challenges of our time. And as we all know, it's getting worse by the day. Hope the Democrats will stop their obsession with attacking the president and actually work collaboratively to fix this crisis. Mr. Chairman, I look forward to hearing from our witnesses. I appreciate the fact even though initially we were going to have just the Democrats, you were allowed uh, Republican witnesses from border states uh, to participate in the first panel as well. And with that, I yield back. Thank you very much. Let me um, very quickly preliminary.